Patton's coming. Will Patton's coming. Patton's coming. Patton's coming. Patton's coming. Patton's coming. All right. And he seems to be more than minus 11. There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. Great season so far. I love it. And, and, your, and your relationship has uh, kind of been altered a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh look at that. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it's not live. Okay. Yeah. It's recording. Uh, yeah, I think in all the relationships on the show, we've actually probably traveled the farthest ground since the pilot. We're totally adversarial. We had the episode that just aired last week. We're actually admitting growing mutual respect and affection for each other and the growing awareness that really to be successful it's going to be fair to synthesis between our two philosophies on how to sort of lead the group so in a lot of ways I kind of look at the, this season this alternating mother and father roles to the southern Massachusetts to the the episode so yeah. sometimes he's the more nurturing one on the hard ass to work with that's true yeah we've switched off and we're looking at I wish I knew who everybody was. Yeah, speak to the time is up. <laughs> um, are either one of you going to have to make the hard choice that you guys discussed um, recently regarding Ben? Uh, well, I don't want to give too much away. No, not really. That, we're saved from having to make the hard choice by Ben doing something very radical on his own. Right. I also like the storyline with Will and your daughter. Oh, yeah, that, that was that. fantastic. That was really cool. We really, to me, the, I thought the character just went up another level. Yeah. Well, she was really wonderful. She was a feeling, relations, relations. Really, You said it on the casting sessions. You had to end it. Finding it. Yeah, it's a real chemistry. It was important to me who played that part. So, can we talk a little bit about Tom's missing memory? Sure. Um, is this going to be a season finale thing? Do you have to figure out what happened in that time span? Or is it going to be a whole thing? Certain things are... This season, and Weaver's leg as well. Oh, Weaver's leg. Well, stay tuned. Mm. This Sunday and next Sunday, to you noticed. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Your relationship with the Doctor character of Moon Bloodfoot has accelerated at least in the third episodes quite radically recently. Is that because of the Dean Gone for three months being dead, or other reasons? Well. I think we talked about this last week. That particular relationship, it's very difficult to write an interpersonal romance relationship on the show where you're trying to always establish a base level of threat being ever present. So we write these scenes where you know, I'd be on guard duty and she'd bring me a sandwich and it's no food to each other. And when we go to shoot them, we think this just doesn't work. This doesn't fit. So it became a relationship that really played itself out across crowded rooms with two busy people looking at each other, wishing the circumstances were different. It was either do that or drag her into a linen closet and consummate it with nasty periods. So the first season, we did the former, second season, we did the latter. Uh, speaking of the relationship with you and um, Moon's character, in the last episode, you and her went in a room in a hospital. I was just thinking about it. I know, right? You went in a hospital. <laughs> now she shows up today crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but when you were shooting that scene, you were like, oh, I'm back in a hospital again. Because that's the first thing that came to mind for me. Well, anytime we're on that medical bus, you know, and, you know, Everybody's barking out, give me an amp of epinephrine. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be the guy that doesn't know what the hell they're talking about. It's very yeah, I was wondering if it was difficult because she gets all that dialogue and all the medical numbers. She, she doesn't like, know how good she's got it. She's got a built in technical advisor with almost 20 years of experience right there. In the it's actually a nice transfer because she comes from the sci fi action world. And uh, she's, uh, she's good at showing me how to hold my weapon. She's good at showing me how to hold my weapon. Do you still remember all that dialogue? I remember it. I understand. The day I die, it's locked in there. It's in my DNA. And there's only about seven things you can do in an emergency room before you ship them off to 
of the department, so it's repetition more than anything else. Is, uh, is, I know everything's been shot. Is the series finale going to be exciting? Uh, it's on par with what we did last season. We tend to like to write ourselves in a very serious corner. And then spend the <laughs> so, so we got another serious corner. Out of it was ballsy to show the inside of the ship. That really took ball. Yeah. Really, I, I was like, whoa, we're going to do it. I can't believe it. Well, that's Mr. Spielberg uh, from start to finish. You know, he was there in the post-production facility designing exactly what he wanted those aliens to look like and what he wanted that ship to feel like. He was more hands, hands-on through that sequence than just about anything else we did. Uh, thanks, guys. Okay, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Love the show.